In Down's analysis, we have five skeletal parameters and five dental parameters. Bloody hell. Come back. So, we have... Bloody hell. <laughs> what the f***? Now we come to the dental parameters. So first one is the cant of occlusion. Cant of occlusion. So this angle, it is between the occlusal plane and the FH plane. So this is our FH plane. This is our FH plane, we know by now. And this would be our occlusal plane. So the occlusal plane is constructed when we bisect the occlusion of the first permanent molar and the incisal overbite. So this way we created the occlusal plane. Mean value here is 9.3 degrees and the range is 1.5 to 14 degrees. And it gives a measure of the slope of the occlusal plane. So it is actually telling you the slope because if this plane was like this, it is actually telling how much, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, the slope of the occlusal plane. Next is the interincisal angle. So this angle is formed between the long axis of the upper and the lower incisors. So let us draw the interincisal angle. So this is the long axis of the upper incisor. And this is the long axis of the lower incisor and they form an angle this angle it is the interincisal angle now the average is 135.4 degrees and the range is from 130 to 150.5 degrees now consider three types of patients here one is having bimaxillary protrusion this way means both the maxilla and the mandible is forward so in this case, the interincisal angle will decrease. With the bone, the teeth could also be protruded. That is why the teeth which was placed this way. So I'll just try to show you here. They are now a little more protruded. So now they... <laughs> okay, just let me raise this. So now when I draw this, We'll get an angle here which would be lesser than this. So we say that in case of the bimaxillary protrusion, the interincisal angle will decrease. Let me just remove it. Now second patient is of class 2 division 1. So this is a class 2 division 1. So what happens in class 2 division 1, our incisors are proclined. Our incisors are proclined. Okay, so this is the class 2 division 1. So in class 2 division 1 malocclusion, the interincisal angle will decrease because of the reason already told. So this is the incisor position. So when it is more proclined, more proclined, it is like this now. So this would be the angle. So the angle is decreasing in class 2 division 1 also. Third patient is class 2, division 2. So, division 2, in division 2, the central incisors are normally placed. This is our central incisor. It would be normally placed or maybe slightly lingually placed. Whereas, the lateral incisor, you can see these are our lateral incisors. They are tipped labially or measly and or measly. Means they are little forward, the little proclined. So, in this case, the interincisal angle will increase. So, in this case, so in this case, the interincisal angle was decreasing and in this case, the interincisal angle is increasing. Next is the incisor occlusal plane angle. So, we draw a line on the long axis of the lower incisor, okay, and one line across the occlusal plane and this would give us an angle that will be this angle. It will be the incisor occlusal plane angle. Here remember that it is read as a plus or minus deviation from right angle. Means that if you are getting an angle of 110 degrees, it is how much more than 90? It is actually, you'll just subtract it from 90, you're getting 20. Okay. 
so this would be plus 20 so if you're getting an angle of 110 degrees here it would be plus 20 and if you're getting suppose um, 50 degrees so this is 40 this is 40 less than 90 so it is minus 40 degrees okay now the average value you'll find here is 14.5 degrees and the range is from 3.5 to 20 degrees so if this angle is increasing the lower incisor procline next is the incisor mandibular plane angle so as the name suggests we'll draw the mandibular plane and we know that in Down's analysis, the mandibular plane is from the gonion to the menton. So this is our mandibular plane. And we draw and we draw a line along the long axis of the lower incisor. And we get an angle here. This is our angle. So this angle, this is the incisor mandibular plane angle. So the mean angulation is 1.4 degrees and the range is from minus 8.5 to 7 degrees now again if this angle is increasing it means that the lower incisors are proclined next is the upper incisor to apog line So now what we do, we draw one point here, this is the point A and this is the Pogonion. Okay, so we draw one line from point A to the Pogonion. Okay, and we draw one line from the incisal edge of the maxillary CI. So we'll draw one line from the incisal edge of the maxillary CI. So we, we will uh, draw a line this way. So this measurement, this measurement from here to here, this is a linear measurement. This length here is the measurement here. Means we don't measure the angle, we measure this distance. This distance on an average is 2.7 mm. And the range is from minus 1 to 5 mm. And obviously, if the person has the upper incisor procline, the measurement, the measurement will be more. So, hope this video could be of little help. I had a very hard time recording this. So, please give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Allah Hafiz.